Welcome back guys to another video. We got to address the elephant in the room, which is Airbnb stock. This is something that you should definitely take note of. I get it. Airbnb stock was kind of iffy. If you guys are the ones that bought Airbnb stock on IPO day, you're taking a pretty decent hit, especially today. It's down almost 4% and it's also down over 1% after hours. Now keep in mind, even with this situation, Airbnb's market cap is still at a very healthy $80 billion. It's fully justified. This video, I will be giving you guys my price target for Airbnb, short term and long term. How I feel about the overall company. Are the shares overpriced? Should you guys go in? Before we dive any deeper, definitely check out the free Discord server. Link in the description below. It's completely free. More than 22,000 members, mostly stock and options talk. So definitely check it out. Super active. There's also a Patreon link below and my second channel, which is dedicated to Tesla videos, and they're heavily edited, so I'm definitely sure you guys will enjoy it. Airbnb is a very good household name. Like, I'm pretty sure you have Airbnb, the app, on your smartphone at this current moment while I'm talking. Now, this is very famous since you could pretty much go to any location you want around the world and actually go to unique stays and homes. If you're a host or super host, you could rent out an extra room in your house or a whole entire property to someone else and make some sweet, sweet cash on the side. Airbnb stock initially ip would at roughly $146. Retail traders pretty much got it all the way up to $152. Initially, it was supposed to IPO at $68, but since there's so much hype in the stock, it got bumped all the way up to like $146. And now the shares are at $137. Keep in mind, even though Airbnb stock did drop from 150 to 137, and you may be very, very discouraged at this current moment, don't sweat it and don't be afraid. I may even consider buying 100 shares at Airbnb and simply start selling covered calls. I think Airbnb, if they do their business right, this could be the next hype stock. Remember Palantir, Neo? Those are really good momentum meme stocks. Airbnb could be the next big thing. Keep in mind, a lot of these IPOs absolutely plummet after their initial public offering. If you check out DoorDash, same exact thing. I mean, these guys are up to 184, sometimes $190. Now it's 174. It took a pretty massive hit today because DoorDash, in my opinion, isn't as good as a company compared to Airbnb. Airbnb at this current moment, sure, it took a pretty big hit on day number two. This is pretty normal for IPO stocks. And this is also why a lot of investors simply don't go in the first few days of the IPO because it usually does correct itself. And then if it's a good company, it will slowly go up. It's very similar to the Snowflake situation. If you check out Snowflake, this is a really good cloud software stock. These guys first ip would at around $269, massive plummet to $223. It was somewhat flat, and then recently it caught a lot of attention. And now guess what? Snowflake is now a Wall Street Bets meme stock, and then it went all the way up to like $423. It was pretty crazy, honestly. So I wouldn't really worry too much about Airbnb I think the company's fine. Nothing too scary to worry about. Now, the revenue for Airbnb in 2019 was $4.7 billion USD, which is pretty phenomenal. And by the way, Airbnb is still losing a lot of money. And this year, 2020, with a whole pandemic going on, the vacation sector got hit at the most around 80 to 90%. It was pretty bad, especially how airlines, cruises, vacation hotspots, Airbnb, Booking.com all took a major hit. Expedia, for example, was supposed to spend roughly $1 billion on advertisements this year. They pretty much scrapped that idea because vacations were out of the question with this whole pandemic going on. Now, Airbnb, I think they're fine. They are losing money. This year's was pretty trash. In the recent quarters, Airbnb has able to slowly go up, which is a good thing. So they're already slowly making money. There is a vaccine coming out. And keep in mind that Airbnb is more tech heavy and tech focused than your traditional airlines and cruise line vacation stocks. Airbnb, they're really disrupting the multi-billion dollar hotel industry. Usually when you go to a brand new area, you gotta go to those major hotel chains like Hyatt, Marriott, etc. I mean, they're pretty expensive and the stays aren't really unique. Whereas if you, for example, go on Airbnb, you could go to some pretty cool places. Let's say you wanna go to Miami, let's click some check-in dates. You can actually stay at some really cool and amazing places. Like you got some really beautiful condos, some lofts. If you go to like Venice or if you go to like Paris, London, Berlin, etc., you can stay at some really incredible places. And this is something that you can't really find with traditional hotels. On top of that, there are short-term rentals 
with Airbnb. Traditionally, let's say you have an internship in Miami, you have to have a 12 month lease with a landlord or apartment complex. And that's just way too much since your internship is only two months old. So where you do, you go on Airbnb. You can simply rent an apartment for just two months or three months and that's it. You don't have to keep paying a lease because you picked a 12 month lease. It's a lot more flexible and a lot more people seem to like it. Sometimes you're in a city, you're just gonna work there for six, seven months. You don't really need a 12 month lease since that's usually the standard for most areas. So you get on Airbnb, usually the host and super host are extremely flexible. If you ask for like maybe just a couple months, they might even do it as well. On top of that, they do have experiences, which is also very, very unique as well. This is something you don't get with a lot of areas. So with these experiences, you could pretty much go to these local areas. I click Paris, and instead of going to Paris and going with the traditional tour guides and the massive buses, why not have a really personalized experience with one of the locals? For example, go to Shanghai, and you could check out this woman making dumplings, for example, and get that really nice personalized experience. Or it could go to like somewhere on a weekend, maybe go to a city right next to you and just check out some of the local experiences, what the locals are doing, and really get that nice personal experience. And there's a variety of different stuff and tours on Airbnb that makes it super interesting. Like I've heard stories where people go to like a specific city, a really tourist attractive city, instead of going for tour guide or tour bus, they pick an Airbnb experience in that city once every single day. And it's really interesting. On top of that, Airbnb also have online experiences. This is a little bit weird, but this really shows you that Airbnb is much more than just a hotel company. They also do online experiences. And this is very, very similar to, for example, Peloton, where the reason why the share prices go up so much is because they have the Peloton fitness app, which pretty much makes them more of a tech software focused app than an exercise bike or a treadmill company. If they were valued as an equipment company, they wouldn't be worth that much. But because Peloton has their own software, their fitness app, they're valued at multiple billions of dollars. Same thing on Airbnb. They're doing online experiences. Since you guys can't actually go on a vacation, you can't actually have any outside fun, you could go online and check out what other people are doing. You could do cooking lessons, piano lessons. You could check what other people are doing. And it's pretty awesome since other people can make some money as well. So it's a win-win for both parties. I think Airbnb is pretty decent. I'll definitely give it a price target short term of roughly $160 per share. Short term, I'm meaning roughly two months. My long-term valuation of Airbnb is probably $200. I think the stock is good. I don't think it's bad. I don't really see anything wrong with the company, especially how flexible they are. I think the CEO and the management of Airbnb is phenomenal because even with this whole pandemic, a lot of software companies in the vacation industry just simply waited it out. Whereas Airbnb did online experiences just to crank out some more revenue and try something fresh. So they're not afraid to go out their comfort zones and try new things. If they see something super profitable, they will go over there and grab a piece of it. That's what I like about Airbnb. Really flexible management and really good leadership. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching and comment below.